A refrigerator can make or break your kitchen, and as you start shopping for a new refrigerator, you will find there are two basic freestanding refrigerator depth options to consider, standard depth and counter depth. Hi, I'm Laura, and this is another edition of The Laura Report. In this edition of the Lore Report, we're going to cool things down a bit and compare standard depth versus counter depth refrigerators to help you understand the difference and figure out what type is best for your needs, your space, and your budget. Both standard depth and counter depth refrigerators are freestanding units, meaning they don't require a cabinet box to be built around them to keep them secure. So the good news is you should be able to install either without having to rip apart your kitchen. And because they're manufactured in a common sizes of 30 inch and 36 inch, they'll fit into most refrigerator spaces. Let's focus on standard depth refrigerators for a minute. Chances are the refrigerator you grew up with is a standard depth refrigerator. These run around 30 inches in depth, meaning the unit sticks out a significant amount visually and physically past a traditional counter space, giving the kitchen a less uniform look and typically taking up more floor space. These refrigerators were great for those with ample kitchen space who want to maximize their internal storage in their refrigerator and freezer. Now let's talk counter depth refrigerators. Counter depth refrigerators are shallower than standard depth, but they generally will be wider or taller. This unit typically is around 24 inches deep. We call it counter depth because the box of the refrigerator unit sits flush with the countertop. However, the doors will make the unit stick out an additional two to three inches past the countertop. This is to provide enough space for the doors to open and close, but it is nowhere near close to how much a standard depth refrigerator sticks out. Some manufacturers also recommend there be at least two inches space between the cabinet and the side of your refrigerator to allow for airflow for the compressor on the back side of the unit. Now, why do you want a counter depth refrigerator? Well, in addition to the cabinet free installation, the shallower depth of this refrigerator makes it easier for you to reach all the items. And it's also easier to see everything that's in the refrigerator, which means no more rotten surprises hidden in back corners. And the area you lose in depth, you can gain in height or width. So you're not sacrificing a ton of interior space on the counter depth unit. Plus you're gaining walkway space in front of your refrigerator, which can make a big difference in a tight kitchen. The biggest sell, in my opinion, is the illusion of a more integrated or seamless look in your kitchen without the cost or construction required for a built-in unit. That seamlessness helps to step up your kitchen design from average to more luxury feel. Not sure how to tell standard depth from a counter depth refrigerator? If you don't have access to the dimensions, the price tag can be a pretty big clue as counter depth tends to cost more. While counter depth refrigerators are increasing in popularity, standard depth refrigerators simply outnumber them on the appliance market. You're also paying a little premium for the technology used to slim down the unit so it sits flush with the cabinetry. Regardless of the depth options you choose, always measure your available space before purchasing a new refrigerator and check manufacturer spatial recommendations. If you need help measuring or have additional questions about buying your refrigerator, feel free to call your local factory builder stores and speak with one of our sales representatives. Well, that does it for this edition of the Laura Report. If you would like to make a request on our next Laura Report, fill out our form at factorybuilderstores.com slash the Laura Report. And you can check out more Laura Reports on our YouTube channel.